Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the kitchen um, at Wild Time with my friend Anthony Critchfield from hello, Critchfield hello. Meats. Um, we're always cooking up something fun, unique um, when Critchfield is here because they have such a wide variety of meats from seafood to, you know, your traditional, your beef, your steak, your pork, your chicken, all of that good stuff. And then they can go to the exotic, like game meat. Um, with <laughs> just use your apron. Um, and he's got some fresh oh, yes. rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Napkin, yeah. So, um, you know, rabbit is really unique. And there's honestly, I think, really just kind of two ways of going about it. One is frying it. That's going to be quick. It's going to be um, still tender and not super tough. Right. The other way is low and slow, and that yep. is yep. braising and taking the rabbit and braising it. Because if you think about it, and let me pull this beautiful oh, thing yeah. out, beautiful, clean um, rabbit, it's um, gamey, so it's a little bit more overworked muscles. So it's, it's more lean. It's a more lean piece of, of meat, right? Correct. So when you, have, yeah, when you have that lean meat, you want to cook it slowly Slow. if you want it to fall off the bone right. and be nice and tender. I know a lot of people will come in and have us cut it up and they're going to throw it into a stew or, or Exactly. You know, this is great. Like also that. in like gumbo. We've been talking about Cajun food with you gumbo guys. Gumbo and uh, what's the nice southern dish? Um, burgoo? Uh, burgoo. Or, yeah, yeah. Is that yeah, what you're thinking? A lot thinking? of people that do burgoo, yeah. Yeah, not possum, <laughs> yes. um, but well, rabbit. Some, some might, but I don't sell it. Rabbit's got a great flavor. <laughs> um, if you haven't had it, it's definitely something to try. Um, really great. Um, you see it in a lot of German dishes as well, yes. um, with like mushrooms and whatnot. So we're frying this up. Tell us what you kind of put in the mixture. Very much it's like fried chicken, right? Very much like I like to let it sit in a buttermilk, and I use Tabasco. Oh uh, yeah. Some people, some people would put a, a, a well, some Frank's kind of hot sauce. Or yeah, something. you know, vinegar or something, you know, down in there. I just like using a hot sauce. And then um, you've got all kinds of different seasonings too, right. so they can pretty much get everything, get everything at the at the store. Do you have buttermilk even that oh, you guys carry? Uh -huh. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. You can buy it. You can buy it all there. Um, yeah, potatoes, would, carrots. Well, I mean, you've got well, a little I, bit I, of grocery. I didn't bring it, but our Cajun spice I've used here on yeah. the show a lot. Mm -hmm. I like to mix that with my flour. There's your seasoned flour. Done. So, yeah. Ready to go. Simple and easy. Awesome. All right, so in addition to rabbit, what are some other game meats that you could, you know, get at Critchfield? Uh, we have, uh, we have uh, elk and bison. We have game. Yeah, this is a perfect time of year for, like, bison burgers. Oh, definitely. You can grind it up, like, if you wanted to go a little different we with your barbecue. We have some ground bison already. Okay. Um, you can come in and get that. Uh, elk, venison, uh, Cornish game hens, quail, uh, duck. Pheasants. Pheasants awesome. are really good. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't really? had one in a while. Okay. But they are they're they're very rich. And I then like if you're hunting and you have rabbits that you want to have processed, you guys do a lot of processing of deer. We I know do, we're not in hunting we, season right, right for yeah, deer, we do but a lot of deer I, towards the fall. If, if if you bring me a rabbit, uh, as long as it's skinned and gutted, I guess I I would be more than happy to break it down for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. All right, so we're frying this up, and then we thought we would add like a little gravy to this. So I've got a little bacon, and again, because it's lean, the bacon is going to provide a nice little bit of like fat, fat. Um, mm -hmm. to it. So we have a little bacon here, and we're just going to make like a very simple milk gravy. So I'm going to go in with a little flour into that um, fat, kind of make a little roux here, just a real quick, simple roux. And then we're going to add some milk to this, throw in a bay leaf, some seasoning, salt, pepper. Again, you could add that Cajun spice from Crystal right. Meat. Yeah, and then definitely. we're going to plate this up, serve that little gravy over it. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to be fat and happy. And, yes. uh, <laughs> I was going to say, I wish everybody could smell this yeah. at home. Uh, yeah. And you can when you come yeah, in and purchase it. Yeah, especially at first for me. I've never <laughs> had fried rabbit, so I'm kind of excited about this one. I, I like fried rabbit. Yeah, and then you guys will process it or cut it up. Yes, you, you know, it's all clean. It's clean. Ready yeah, to go. Can, yeah. So we, they're, they're whole. I just went ahead and brought one. I cut it in half and then cut it into sections. So I, I cut the, the hind leg and the front leg and then had the loin section. Okay. Awesome. 
Well, you guys know where to go find some rabbit. Do something unique in the kitchen. Try something new. That's what it's all about. Hop on over. <laughs> to Critchville Meats in the Zandale Shopping Center. <laughs> he had to say that. All right, you guys are watching Midday Kentucky. I'm Chef Allison Davis, Anthony Critchfield. We'll be right back after this short break.